ありがとうございます。五千線普通片田駅です。終点まで深く駅に停まります。Over the course of 20 minutes from Kyoto, the JR train, once full of people, became empty. This is right there, episode 3, Lake Biwa. <laughs> Now, there was no shortage of ryokan to choose from in the region, but we went with Biwako Anakaido, a traditional bathhouse with natural mineral springs. The room had yukata, which we were instructed to wear around the property, tatami floors, western beds, and a traditional futon that they would come lay out when it was time for bed. But let me be frank, they could have told me to sleep in the bathroom for all I cared. I was excited. That's pretty amazing, huh? Day five, still no hat. Getting burnt. Well, lots of family chickies. Lots of family chickies, so much family chickie. And hash brown. Hash brown. New discovery today. Hash We're gonna make a Forbidden Family Mart sandwich. It's gonna be hash browns and family chickie. This is, yeah, Ogoto Onsen Station, and we are heading further up towards Lake Biwa to go maybe to an observation deck. Very pretty out today, very hot. All aboard the 1047. At least I'm pretty sure that's what they said. Headed to Shiga Station. Biwako Valley and a lift into the clouds awaited our arrival. We have made it to Lake Biwa. Cute little trail train right behind me. Hair going crazy. Clouds rolling in. About to get thundered and lightninged on. Wow. Now with a little time before the bus arrived, we ventured to the shore. And honestly, on a scale I couldn't really imagine until the water touched my shoes. At its largest span, the other side of the lake is not even visible. And maybe it's the Ghibli fan in me, but this is straight out of a fairy tale. Even now, my heart skips a beat. The ones with a happy ending. Whoa. Okay, well, I'm, I'm here. Back to reality. And uh, cramped into a bus with so many people, I think I blacked out. Soon, the puke and rally of sightseeing descended from the clouds. So, picture perfect chicken burger. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
we walked and walked and walked. Not because we had to, it just felt like we should. There's not many times in my life where nothing told me to stop. But for some reason, on that day, we walked until the nighttime welcomed us home. Next time, we arrive back in the big city, refreshed and ready to explore. Thanks for watching right there.